Do you ever worry about your motorcycle when it's parked in a parking lot or maybe in front of a friend's house? Do you ever wonder, is somebody riding off on my bike or are they loading it into the back of a pickup truck? Well, what if there was a way that you could know if that were happening and be alerted to the fact? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today, and it's coming up right now. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today we're going to talk about a GPS tracker for your motorcycle from Mani Moto. So I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into the show and talk to you about this GPS tracker. But before we do, I just want to remind you, if you're new to the channel and you love motorcycles, you enjoy motovlogs, tips and tricks, how-to videos, product reviews, things of that nature, anything to do with motorcycles, you're in the right place. So I'd appreciate it if you click that subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Appreciate it. Also, check out my Facebook groups and on Instagram. A few weeks ago, Monimoto reached out to me about their GPS tracker for motorcycles. And they sent me this to test and review. I would like to let you know up front, this is not a sponsored video, no money exchanged hands, and Monimoto has no clue what I'm going to say about this product during this review video. But they did send me this to test and review, so I want to thank Monimoto for that. So let's take a look at what's inside this little round box. It does have some pretty cool graphics, i got to admit. It's got kind of a holographic uh, logo print on here, pretty cool. We'll open it up. And on top, the first thing you see is this little thing to uh, let you know that you can download their software from uh, the Apple App Store or Google Play Store if you have an Android phone. Uh, there's also a cable or a couple of cables here. I assume this is for mounting the unit to your motorcycle. Comes in kind of handy. Now on top, there is a little round key fob like that. And then the main unit itself, which is kind of a cylindrical tube, which is the actual GPS tracker. Now, we're going to get this set up, and there is an app that you download for your smartphone, and that app must be paired to this tracker uh, so that you can check the settings. It can also update the firmware, firmware if necessary. We'll go through that procedure and let's take a look inside and see what's in here. Now, I would like to mention that this unit is waterproof. And how this works, this mounts to your motorcycle, or you could put it in your glove box, you could put it in a piece of luggage, you could put it in your saddlebag, uh, wherever. And then it also has this little key fob that is paired to the tracker. Now, my understanding as to how this system works, and it's actually a pretty interesting design, this is a wireless system. You do not have to wire this to the bike's electronics. It has a replaceable lithium-ion battery. Actually, it has two of these batteries, and I think they're the CR123 batteries. You can find them online. Not sure if you'll find them in most stores, but you can find them on Amazon. And they're good for at least a year, maybe up to two years, depending on the battery and depending on the use. But this unit sits on the bike, and anytime your bike begins to move, if it detects motion, this has a motion sensor built in, plus a GPS tracker. And anytime it detects motion, it looks for the key fob. So when you have this on your keychain, it's on your person, you are within Bluetooth range of this device. It doesn't do anything. It assumes it's you riding the motorcycle. And so basically, it's inert. It doesn't do anything. However, if the key fob is out of Bluetooth range, so it's out of range, it doesn't see this, the bike begins to move, it looks for the key fob. If it doesn't find the key fob, it assumes your bike is moving without you, and it will send an alert through their system to your smartphone, and you'll get a text message letting you know the motorcycle is moving, 
and you can then check the GPS coordinates of where the motorcycle is. So the system basically doesn't become active until the motorcycle is in motion and it cannot find the key fob. So the rest of the time, when these two items are within proximity, uh, the battery life is extended because it's not working all the time. Now, I had another GPS tracker that I was testing about a year ago. Uh, the test review fell through because I never could get the company to contact me again. They were supposed to be updating their app. They, they never did, and they never contacted me back, so we just kind of scrapped the project. But that GPS tracker had to be wired to the motorcycle. So you had to wire it to the battery because it was always running. And one thing I did notice, and Don was also testing it on his Goldwing, is that you would get text messages even if the bike wasn't moving. So we would get these alerts saying your bike is in motion and it's sitting out in the garage. Plus, it's always draining the battery because it's always working. It's always connected to the battery. You had to connect it to the hot terminal of the battery. So, um, if you have a motorcycle that had that connected and it's, say, a long-term storage like six or eight months, it could definitely run the battery down, so you'd always want to make sure it was on some sort of a battery tender. With this Monimoto, you don't really have to worry about that since it's wireless. It's not connected to the motorcycle's power supply. It just uses its own lithium-ion battery, which I like. I also actually prefer this over one that is rechargeable, where you like plug it into a USB cable or something like that. I kind of like the fact that it's kind of old school, uses just lithium ion batteries that are replaceable. I think that's an easier, better setup. And the first time you use it, you have to uh, pull out a little tab that's keeping the batteries from being used while the, before the unit's set up. So the, the way you take this apart is you basically just really have to pull on it hard. So using as much, about as much pressure as I can muster, because it's got some rubber seals to keep it waterproof, like that. Okay, now inside, here you can see uh, where the batteries are. Uh, you can also find your serial number. There's an SD card. Uh, and this basically, I say SD card, it's the SIM card uh, to record, and there is a monthly fee for that. They say that it is possible that you could use your own SIM card as opposed to theirs, but they don't guarantee it. They don't you know, guarantee how that would work. If you use their SIM card, uh, the charge I think is $3.50 a month. About I think they bill it $42 a year for the tracking service built into this. Uh, you don't have to use that, but uh, it's there if you want it. There's also a couple of status LEDs up here that aren't working right now because the unit is kind of dormant. And there's a reset slot, and I had to use this. The first time through, I had an issue getting this to pair with my phone. And I know that when I first connected, it had to update, do a firmware update. I ended up having to do this manual reset, and then it was able to pair fine, it set up, everything worked flawlessly. These batteries, I'll take one out so you can see it, basically look like this. They're these CR123A batteries, lithium ion. I'm gonna put the cover back on. Now there's a couple of arrows that line up so that you know you got the cover in the right place. So I'll just make sure those arrows are lined up. Okay, now they do suggest that when you put this on the motorcycle that you don't have it touching any metal on the bike. And you can put this anywhere. As long as it's not touching metal, it should work just fine. And it doesn't have to necessarily be straight up and down. It could be laying on its side. And then the key fob, of course, you can put on your keychain. Now this uses, I believe, a 2032 battery, uh, one of those little flat pancake batteries like you would use in your uh, Goldwing Smart Key, or a lot of smoke detectors use those also. Those are readily available. And I'm assuming that battery should last a couple of years also. Let's get this thing set up on the cell phone. I'll show you how we pair this to, the, uh, to your smartphone. And then we're going to go put this on the motorcycle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pair this up with my cell phone using Bluetooth. And that will, through the app, it will let us update the firmware. It will uh, let us check some other settings. I've already downloaded the Monimoto app onto my iPhone 12. And when I open it 
and click on the welcome button, it uh, automatically launches the setup procedure. So the first thing it tells you to do is to remove that little tab in between the batteries. And I showed you how to take the bottom apart to do that. The next thing is you select the key fob, and I have the one on the left. And then it reminds you to have your Monimoto GPS and the key fob right next to the cell phone, which I've already done. The next step is a reminder to check the serial number to make sure you have the correct device. Now, type in the name of your motorcycle. I'm typing in Wing. Then press the Next button at the bottom for it to connect to the GPS device. You may get a message saying that Bluetooth pairing is required. Click the Pair button to continue. Now in my case, I got a notice that a firmware update was available, so I went ahead and downloaded the firmware update, and you should do this also. Depending on your connection speeds, it could take a while, just a few seconds, and uh, mine got uploaded and installed successfully. Follow the on-screen instructions to remove the Monimoto from your list of Bluetooth devices on the phone. If everything goes successfully, you should see this screen. From now on, when you open the Monimoto app, this is what you should see. Okay, so the unit's all paired up. It's ready to go. Now all we have to do is go put this on the motorcycle somewhere. Well, let's get to the garage. While I wouldn't recommend permanently storing the GPS tracker in a glove box like I'm doing here, it's good enough for a quick test. To simulate the motorcycle moving without the key fob in place, I put my key fob in another room of the house and just uh, rode the motorcycle down the street just a little bit, just to test to see how long it takes for the Monimoto system to alert me to the fact that the motorcycle is actually moving without the key fob. And as you can see in this example, it took under 30 seconds for me to get a notification on my phone that the wing was moving. Now I can go into the Monimoto app and see exactly where the motorcycle is located. So by clicking on the events button at the bottom, you can see I can locate using the GPS tracker exactly where the motorcycle is on a map. And I can use pinch and zoom to kind of zoom in on exactly where the motorcycle is. In final analysis, uh, I think this is a pretty nice system. I like it. I like the fact that it's relatively inexpensive, a couple hundred dollars. Uh, you can get it through Amazon. I'll put links in the description of this video if you'd like to order this. You can also pair multiple key fobs to this unit so that if you and your wife or you and someone else rides the same motorcycle, you could each have a key fob. You can also use this on anything. It doesn't have to be a motorcycle. You could put this uh, GPS tracker on an ATV, snowmobile. It is waterproof. I guess theoretically you could put it on a jet ski. Uh, you can basically use it on anything that you want to track the location of should it be moving without the key fob in proximity. I think it's a pretty cool product. I'm going to use it on my Honda Goldwing. Uh, if you're an adventure rider, there's all kinds of places you could put one of these things. I will do a long-term review update a few months from now just to let you know how it's working. It seems like a nice system, well-made. It feels very rugged. It uh, appears to be very solid, waterproof, good design. Let's give it a try and see how it works over the long haul. Thanks for joining me again today on Cruise Man's Garage. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does really help with our uh, ratings with YouTube and our algorithms. I will put links to this product in the description of this video. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you the next time on Cruise Man's Garage.